listening to Catholic Sprout, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. My name is Patrick Pulis, and I am the founder of Saint of the Month where we send amazing saint boxes filled with really cool gifts, and we teach you about the saints and how you can be a saint too. Today is November 27th, 2024, which is the feast day of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. This week on Catholic Sprouts Podcast, we are discussing the saints of Advent. Today we are going to talk about Saint Nicholas. Almost everyone has heard of Santa Claus, but not everyone knows that he is an actual person and a saint known as Saint Nicholas. This is why we sometimes hear songs call him good old jolly Saint Nick. He was born in the third century in a village called Patara, which is modern day Turkey. He died on December 6th, which is a day that we celebrate in Advent. And that is why we celebrate his feast day. His parents died when he was young, and he used the inheritance money to help the needy and sick. He became the Bishop of Myra in a time when Christians weren't accepted under the Roman Empire. As Bishop, he was also a strong defender of the doctrine of the Trinity, which means that we believe that God is three persons in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. St. Nicholas is known to give gifts because his parents left him a lot of money. He wanted to be generous with his wealth. In the ancient world, when someone wanted to get married, the woman would need a dowry, which is an amount of money, land, or animals set aside for when the girl gets married. One time there was a man And he had three daughters, but didn't have dowries for them, and thus, they would never get married. But mysteriously, on three different occasions, a bag of gold appeared in their home and landed on the stockings or shoes. One night, the man decided to wait up and see who this person was. He found out it was St. Nick and was told not to tell anyone. And did your parents ever tell you to go to bed so Nick can come? Did you ever wonder if you would catch him one day, putting presents under the tree? Well, part of the tradition of staying up and trying to catch St. Nicholas comes from the man who stayed up all night to discover St. Nick sending gold coins through the window for his daughters. To this day, children put stockings out waiting for St. Nicholas to fill them up with goodies on St. Nick's Day, which you can celebrate on December 6th. Many times there are three oranges representing the three clumps of gold. St. Nicholas did many kinds of generous deeds in secret. He is known to save people from famine and calm storms for sailors, telling them not to fear for God will protect us. He is the patron saint of mariners, bankers, scholars, orphans, travelers, students, children, and among others. Devotion for him spread as thousands of churches were named after him, including 300 churches in Belgium and 400 in England. Saint Nick also lived near a cave where Jesus was born, and today they built a church there named after him. His devotion to Jesus in the Nativity is how St. Nick comes to us every Christmas. On December 6, 343, he passed away, and soon after a liquid called manna would appear on his grave. This manna had healing powers, and soon the devotion to St. Nicholas grew even more. Dutch children leave hay and carrots in their shoes for St. Nicholas's horses, hoping that he would exchange them for gifts. Because of his many miracles, he is also known as Nicholas the Wonder Worker. Christmas is a time for giving and being grateful for the many gifts you have. 
as you look around and see people wanting to make them happy with gifts and thus showing their love. It is a time we will focus on the virtue of mercy and the vice of greed. As a child, I was always amazed by the Christmas time and loved seeing my mom's face when she gave us gifts. My mom is by nature a very selfless and a big gift giver, and at Christmas time, it really brought all of us together to celebrate giving. It is a time of warmth and love. St. Nicholas is a great example of someone who has who was not selfish but selfless and gave to others. He was happy to give. So try it out. When you give this Christmas, see the happiness others get from it as opposed to trying to keep everything for yourself. See how Jesus was merciful to pay for our sins by dying on the cross. He gave us the precious gift of himself, and we have the opportunity to receive him in the Eucharist at Mass every Sunday. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. If you like learning about today's saint, check out our resources we have at Saint of the Month. We have free resources like a game to play with your friends called the St. Andrew's Bowling Game. You get a free bowling card in the mail and you try to fill out the card by doing a different activity each day. It's free and can be found on our website at saintofthemonth.com forward slash Catholic Sprouts. Go there and fill out your address and we'll send you one for you to play with your family and friends. We also have Saint of the Month subscriptions and ooh, do I love sending out these boxes, which are a great way for the whole family to explore different saints each month. Boxes include rosaries, books, saint cards, games, decor, and more. And each week you get a goal to work on so you can become a saint too. Use the promo code Catholic Sprouts at checkout and we'll send you an extra free box with the start of your subscription. Don't forget to check out our Catholic card game called Eye of the Needle, where you get a mission to win a game by collecting saints. Also, we have mass kits and chasubles for the young ones so they can fall in love with the mass. And check out everything that we have to offer at saintofthemonth.com. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.